What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And this CIF State basketball highlight is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your next team event. CIF State basketball at the Walter Pyramid on Saturday. Looking for revenge. Long Beach Poly facing JW North in the Division II SoCal Regional. A trip to Sacramento on the line for a Poly team who fell to these Huskies in the championship game a couple weekends ago. Poly wearing the championship golds. They've got seniors with high basketball IQ and a head coach who's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, gonna need them against a very good JW North team that can score in bunches. This game started at 11 a.m. and the first quarter reflected that both teams kind of, well, wiping the sleep out of their eyes. It was just a little bit of a fracas in there, JJ. Uh, Drew Bugs, Christian Gray trading buckets. It's 9-8 JW North at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, and that would really set the tone, those gray putbacks. I mean, the poly interior defense catching 50 shades of Christian Gray here in the second quarter, while at the other end, the Rabbits were really dialed in from distance, and that tit for tat continued pretty much the whole entire quarter as Gray scores 18 points and grabs seven rebounds in the first half alone. Uh, yeah, that obviously not the way Polly drew their defense up, but they did slow down JW North on the perimeter, which is what they felt they needed to do. While meanwhile, Polly, as you mentioned, kind of catching fire, not a team that scores a lot from the perimeter, but they got it when they needed it today. A great March Madness finish to the half. Daryl Polk Jr. with the layup. Going to tie at 23-23. Less than 10 seconds left. Huskies quickly the other way. Dikembe Martin gets caught up. Polly wants traveling called, but C.J. Clark wants all three of these. Beats the buzzer to put J.W. North up 26-23. The Polly fans not happy. Feeling it right now. Uh, yeah, a little bit of fire there as they're sort of getting the refs and their team ready for the second half to try and overcome that three-point deficit. Third quarter, much like the second quarter, two evenly matched teams just going back and forth. Biggest storyline, we kept waiting for that JW North run, and it just never happened. Yeah, that's right. Only once in the entire second half did they get consecutive buckets. That's how Polly has played all state playoffs long as they take a three-point lead at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, JW North only made three three-pointers. Game-changing play here early in the fourth. Bugs gets the, his own rebound and fouled very hard. The refs would deem it an intentional foul. Bugs would take the two free throws. Polly gets the ball back. Williams would get fouled and make two free throws. At the end of that side, Polly's up six, and that's the cushion they need from the rest of the game on. Because between their defense and the fact that they made big shots, they were able to keep that cushion. Gray, not quite done. He had 27 and 16 as North only trailed 48-44 with three minutes left. But like I said, that cushion, that 4.6 point cushion never went away. Polly undeterred Bugs, continuing to find space on his way to 20. And then Williams in the Polly front court closed very strong as Gray picks up an injury there on that play. Jack Rabbits also made their free throws 19 of 34, while North was only 9 of 21 from the charity stripe. Polly fans starting to feel it. Revenge is a dish best served on a plaque. And now the Jack Rabbits have one of their own. Winner, winner, going to Sacktown dinner. It meets you in the capital as uh, Drew Bugs. What else can you say about him with 20 points playing on a severely injured knee? Zafir Williams, another double double with 16 and 14. This Poly team has got something special going. This is their first time in this game since 2002. They're trying to win their first state championship next weekend since 1984. A picture dripping with swagoo. We will obviously be with them in Sacramento. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Long Beach Transit, who has stops on Route 1 at CSU Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the Stub Hub Center. Like I said, one more game for these Jack Rabbit boys, and you're going to find all of the coverage right here at GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. Oh, that was